It's time to cut the third clutch of 2022. I'm really excited. Uh, they've pipped on day 55. I feel good about cutting on day 55. Let's find out what's in these eggs. I got eight good ones. One looks like uh, the boo bag maybe didn't make it. We'll check it out. What's going on everybody? Thanks for hanging out today. My name is Adam. This is the Proper Royals channel. If we've not met before, this channel is all about my family's journey from ball python hobbyist to ball python business. And we document everything right here on this channel. Today we've got an egg cutting and I'm pretty excited about it. I was gonna tell you the story of it and somebody last time gave me a hard time about how long my intros are and that kind of thing. It's the best of both worlds. You can either listen to the story behind it or you just you just scroll on the bottom. You can you can see the little picture of where I'm cutting. You just skip right ahead if you like. Now, I appreciate you checking it out. And this is an exciting egg cutting for a couple of reasons. I have a big female banana and I know she's banana. I was told that she was het ghost. Last year I paired her with a visual pastel clown and I got some crazy animals out of it and I couldn't there's something more going or there's just a really huge variation in the polymorphism of this banana strain anyway I'm excited for this clutch because there was a small chance that last year see I bred her to this same sire last year and he is a super Mojave possible pastel. He's at least het ghost, possible ghost. He's all white, he's super Mojave. I can't tell if he's ghost or not. Today is gonna be neat because I get to first prove out if she's het ghost or not. I guess it wouldn't tech, if, if it was het to het, it would only be 25% statistic ghosts. I guess it wouldn't exclude her from being ghost if I didn't see any, but I would I would question whether she was het ghost. She's never proven that. And I got her from, uh, you know, somebody that I trust, but who's not a, a ball python breeder. The other part of it was that those babies last year were so strange looking, there was some debate as to whether they had Mojave in them. But there was a little bit of a debate of, are those het clown from the clown pastel dad, or are those Mojave bananas from this sire, this uh, super Mojave? In my heart, I don't feel like they're Mojave. Today's gonna be cool because if the babies today look totally different than those babies from last year, phew, I'm absolved of any concerns. I'll know that those others are heck clown. And today we should see some ghosts, Mojaves, banana Mojave, ghosts, banana Mojaves. Everything will be Mojave. And like I say, that super Mojave is also possible pastel. Hopefully we get some insight into whether he is het ghost and whether she is het ghost. If she is het ghost, then we can hope to get some insight as to whether he is ghost or het ghost. This gets really kind of nerdy. If she's het ghost and he's ghost, the baby should be 50% ghost. If it's het to het, it should only be 25%. And if she's not het, we shouldn't see any ghost. I got a lot to do today. Let's get down to business and check it out. All right, cool. So these pipped uh, three days early, so day 55. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we got one kind of nasty egg. Charlie, you want to bring me a trash bag from over there, please? Yeah, that, that smells awful. Can't imagine. Let's see. Doesn't hurt to check. Does not. Right, in our noses. Alrighty. I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, it's just a partially developed snake. Okay. Let's find out what's going on here. Mojave ghost. Maybe just Mojave. I think it looks ghost though. Super cool. All right, Charlie, which one do you want to cut? Sorry, dude. This one. This one, okay. Another Mojave. I don't know if that's going to be banana or not. That's mighty light. Pastave, maybe? Pastel Mojave? It's pretty. Yeah. Maybe that Close father proved out 
What's that? Cool spots. Yeah. Maybe that father will prove out pastel as well. It's kind of yellow on the other side. I'm going to say maybe pastel Mojave right there. Who's the father? Lefty? Yeah. Now that mom also might have something going on with her because remember the, how her babies looked last year? Okay, we got a banana here. Oh, oh yeah, that's ready. Not sure. It's a little purpley, but. For sure, Mojave, but all of the bananas can be male or female, and the males will be female makers as well. All right, banana Mojave. That's cool. That means that means those babies last year were not not Mojave. They are all het clown. That animal looks far different than anything produced last year. Maybe not banana. Maybe just maybe just Mojave. Straight up Mojave. It's really yellow. I gotta see the head. Look at this variety already. It's hard to see. I think that's the pastel version of this. I think this is a ghost Mojave. Oh, that one's got some mold on the bottom. Oh, mm -hmm. there Maybe not banana. This one is definitely banana. That might be banana ghost. This is going to be a fun one to see them crawl out. But the variety that we're seeing already, that's really cool. Whew. Whoa. That's cool. I would guess banana... Pastave, banana pastel Mojave, possible ghost, ghost, Whew. another really vivid Mojave, I wonder if that's pastel, I wonder if that's the pastel. Another pretty bright one. Banana pastave, maybe? Okay. Alright, another really, really light one. That was a little snake right there. Oof, he's tiny. Yeah, he is. grow out and hatch out on their own. So it's about a week later, I want to give you a quick update on the clutch. I was just watching back the footage of the cutting and I'm amazed at the variety of colors that we saw in the egg. I'll tell you a little spoiler right now, of the eight of them, one looks banana and the other seven look the same to me now. They haven't shed yet and I'm going to show you now and you'll see they haven't shed. They're, they're super milky on their skin, they're about to shed. I'll do an update maybe on Instagram or maybe I'll do like a year end clutch update and we'll really dive in and figure out what's in there. Let's take a look at these hatchlings and maybe you'll see something that I don't. Let me know what you see and what you think on these things. All right, so let's go with the really easy one here. Like I say, these are super in shed. That banana. Is it gonna be ghost? I don't know, we'll see once it, once it sheds out. Like I say, these are super milky. This seems to be the darkest of the bunch. So maybe, only Mojave? Mojave Ghost? I don't know. And then, uh, let's see, here's one that's pretty dark too. So these two seem pretty similar, really. I got one, what, I got five. Then I got those five that seem lighter to me than these and actually looking at like I don't know if they got less pattern or not I was gonna say less pattern but look at these it's got kind of the islands in the top there really interesting figure eight pattern little hooks this one's got the islands as well the sides on these are really kind of light and lavender color. What do you guys think? I don't have much experience with Mojave. Am I missing, am I just missing bananas in there? It's crazy, right? One out of eight? 
What did I do to make the odds so mad? <laughs> Alright, well check out uh, Proper Royals on Instagram and I'll put some updates once these shed. I can't wait. Alright, well there's the update. Those uh, Most of these will be available. I'm going to keep uh, certainly a male, maybe a female back on this. Uh, maybe a couple females. I've got I got a little rack space. Maybe I'll keep them and see what else hatches the rest of the year. But a lot of these will be available. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Keep it right here on the Proper Royals channel to keep up with everything that we have going on. I'll always tell you about my clutches and what's going on with those clutches and what will be available, what can come to you. I cannot wait until I get to see you in the next video. Until then, see ya.